Tonight, a family is calling on the federal government to launch a civil rights investigation after their loved one was shot and killed by police in El Paso County last year. Now, the DA determined Robert Garcia's death was justified. The family, though, is claiming excessive force. And tonight, in a story you're seeing first here on Denver 7, our CB Cotton has obtained exclusive body camera video showing the moments before officers fired. And Shannon, the family of Robert Garcia believes the body camera video in this case is proof that excessive force was used. Now they want the world to see the video too. We do want to warn our viewers that what you're about to see may be disturbing. Relax. 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 Just before 530 PM on April 19th, 2021, Officer Isaac Abila from the Fountain Police Department arrives on northbound I-25 near Woodman Road. Colorado State Troopers and other officers are on scene to arrest Robert Garcia, the driver of this white U-Haul truck. Stop sticks had just been used to halt Garcia's car. He's reaching. I know he's reaching. He's, he's reaching. reaching. He's opening the beer. Troopers said Robert Garcia led them on a chase after he was involved in an attempted armed robbery in Pueblo. Less than a minute after Officer Abila arrives on scene, Garcia's car begins to travel forward and Abila fires through the passenger window. Garcia received first aid and later died at a local hospital. I wish he would this would have turned out different. And Gloria Garcia, Robert Garcia's mother, and his brother, Claudio Garcia, say the ordeal should have. I mean, he was murdered. I mean, flat out. He didn't have to shoot my son that many times. He was surrounded with the police. A claim backed up by the family's attorney, Leonard Martinez, who sent this letter to the Department of Justice this week, asking for a civil rights investigation while alleging excessive force was used on Garcia. Obviously, El Paso County works with Fountain Police Department on criminal cases all the time. So there was some incentive, I believe, on their part to justify the shooting. According to a press release, Officer Abila fired 11 rounds. Five of them struck Robert Garcia. The DA said Abila thought a trooper was in the direct path of Garcia's car. But when you look at the videotape and you wonder when this cop empties his firearm into this truck in such a reckless manner, and that's the key, it was in such a reckless manner, not only endangering and killing uh, Mr. Garcia, but he endangered the other officer, the state patrol that was there. Now, Robert Garcia's three sons, Gabriel, Patrick, and Elias say they want justice, describing their father as loving, devoted, and someone who instilled in them the sport of boxing. I just really hope that they know that he was a loving father and that, and that he cared for us deeply. Um, and off of one mistake doesn't mean you get to get your life taken away. The son saying the officer gave their dad a death sentence instead of putting him in jail. My number one wish, if I could go back, would just be I can call my dad from jail. I could talk to him and we can make things all right. I just can't let him go. He was the best thing. I, he was the best person I ever had in my life. CB Cotton, Denver 7. We reached out to the district attorney's office. They said it would be inappropriate to comment at this time. A BB gun was found in Garcia's truck, but the family attorney says that gun was never brandished at officers.